R square Elden Ring General Radon lore and story explains great video. General Radon is known by many as one of the most powerful and influential demigods across the lands between. Uh -oh. Many travelers across the lands regard him to be one of the strongest of foes. Yeah. Located at Red Especially Land in the Castle DLC. Caled, Radan was amongst the children of Ranala and Radagon. Uh oh. His flaming red hair inherited from his father Radagon. I was born a champion's cub. Now, Look at I this am menace. a lord of the battlefield's lion. The golden lion showcased across his armor symbolizes his fondness of the powerful Elden Lord Godfrey. And he was naturally captivated by the lord of the battlefield. In this fascination and admiration for Godfrey, he would learn and train like the Elden Lord this himself. This man is carrying Mufasa. His combat skills from a very young age. Okay, bro, that man is too big to be riding that horse. Hey, that man is too big to be riding that horse, bro. That man is too big. Radan was not all about power and might, though. He also had a tender heart. His trusty steed, Leonard, was his closest companion. Bro, and that horse Radan is grew dying. In stature, he <laughs> feared Leonard could no longer bear his weight. So he traveled to Celia, the town of sorcery, where he would learn to master the gravitational powers so that he could make himself weightless, allowing him to never leave his trusty steed. Oh, side. I'll but say, bro, that horse looks this like he's dying. That would last to the very end. <laughs> I'm gonna say, bro, that horse looks tired. <laughs> I'm gonna say that horse looks beat, bro. Don learned all he could from an alabaster lord, an ancient race said to have awoken from the collision of a giant meteor. <laughs> that horse is tired. He could now manipulate gravitational forces and projectiles at will, and his powers had grown considerably. He went on to master the collapsing star's gravitational oh power. Oh my god. I thank you for the tutelage. For now, I can challenge the stars. Radan would then hold those stars captive in the sky to defend his kingdom. Oh, snap. The hidden path to Nokron was protected and out of reach from Rani the Witch. If Rani was to enact her plan, destruction may have been imminent across Radan's sacred lands. Uh-oh. Radan holds Rani's state in the palm of his hands. The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, oh. all the pieces are in place. That's a nice hat. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. He would build his fortress in Caled with his trusty red main soldiers to guard and protect all hours of the day and night. Their surcoat depicts a red mane lion raising a sword in the image of Radan, their helm fashioned after a lion's fang. Mm. They were loyal to their leader and great champion of the Shattering. Okay. General Radan's soldiers were all reputed to be masterful warriors, and it was universally said that the red mains knew no weakness. Oh, wow. Days after the Shattering, Radan would be put to the test in the Great Clash, uh -oh. they named Battle of Aeonia, where Millennia and Radan would lock horns in combat, a fight for the ages. Oh, snap. Wait a minute, I've never seen this. General Radan. Who you guys got? I got Radan, bro. Oh, well, Millennia looks cold, though. Millennia Blade of Mikula had been born into Scarlet Rot. Much like poison, it would build up as time went on, consuming and putrefying its victims. Scarlet Rot took over Millennia's body and mind, but she still rose to take on Radan. She was a great foe to this mammoth demigod, and she was his true rival. There is a reason, she says, I have never known defeat. A telling tale of a great champion. What, so she won? I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. Oh, snap, so she actually won. Joined by her companions, the Clean Rod Knight. Oh, she must be her. Melania traveled to Redmain Castle to take the fight to Radan and his Redmain soldiers. But Radan would not kneel to this undefeated champion. 
Some wanderers even said that Radan's true powers were never shown, as the weight of the stars and his trusty steed held him back from his true potential. But he was truly an honourable and worthy leader and didn't back away from the fight. Oh yeah, the she actually won. The battle of Aonia took place as both fought valiantly until both could no longer stand. But it was Melenia that would have the final say as she ignited a deadly attack they called Scarlet Bloom. Radan had been consumed by the deadly Scarlet Rot, eaten from the inside, divested of his wits. Finlay, one of the only Dang. few survivors of the Battle of Aonia, in an unimaginable act of heroism, carried the slumbering Melania all the way back to Halgrid Tree to heal. She managed the feat alone, fending off all manner of foes along the way. Clean what knight Finlay was a true loyal soldier. Radan also survived this fight, but only barely as his body was the only part of him left. His mind had been infected by the Scarlet Rot, consumed by it. He now roams the forgotten lands, eating the corpses of friends and foes alike, gorging Ooh. like a dog. Man, he, eating that body like a gusher. Worse than death. His feet were also eaten away by the rock, making Leonard the steed more useful than he'd ever been. The rot had dissipated his abilities, so you can only imagine the mighty strength and what his full potential could have been. Still, he is controlling the stars, holding them captive even after his punishment. Some Red Main soldiers survived and pushed Dang. the Scarlet Rot far away from the castle. I didn't know Millennial was like. To I didn't know she was her. Sweeping through. She is her. The Rot also made monsters of the animals in the region, turning anything in their path. Look at that to dog. This decaying nightmare. Alas, dear home, I shan't see you again. For our duty is to. Oh, oh, oh! They got him. A bulwark against the blight. When they were driven out by Millennial's Scarlet Rot. The Red Maid Knights burned the crest of the left breast of their armor to indicate their resolve. As loyal soldiers, they continue to provide watch for Radan, as they know this mighty beast once was a conquering champion, and they wanted to see their beloved leader have an honorable death. And in that, they decided to create the Festival of Combat. Oh, snap! Bro, that's actually like lore behind it. That's crazy. Like there's whispers scattered across the lands between. <laughs> Some terrified of the prospect, but others up for the challenge. When you enter Redmain Castle, you're not greeted with a ferocious barrage of attacks from the Redmain Knights. No, but a song by the soldiers of the castle in honor of Redan. The song of honor, a celebration of war. This is the Radan Festival. Bro, they throw a whole party for him, bro, after that war, after that fight. Wait, so did I, did I lose my bet? I think I lost my bet. The gathering of champions, the revels begin. The celebration of war. The Radan Festival. Many warriors traveled across the lands to challenge Radar, some ready to fight for glory, others frightened <laughs> by what was to come. <laughs> As his gravitational powers were so strong Bro. that Radan could ride a meteor from the sky and destroy Hey, that meteor was crazy. Swoop, a brutal and unparamounted maneuver that only a demigod could achieve. Radan's arrow attacks also show a glimpse of the Battle of Aonia as those same arrows are the ones of Clean Rot Knight Spears that he was stabbed by during that great battle. Radan's powerful and versatile attacks are enough for some to flee like a gazelle. Bro, look at this menace. Passes Even return to the Radan world. is outnumbered by the warriors across the lands, it's a true showcase of how powerful he really is. You could say 
that the battle in a way was this champion's funeral. Uh oh. Brother. I didn't know there was like so much Into like. Into together, the warriors would fight sword and fang, becoming victorious, as Radan would fall in a great and honorable fight where his display of power and strength was on center stage. And with his death came the falling of the stars as they were no longer captive. This is where we saw a glimpse of his true power. As the meteors and stars are plenty full, you see what this man was holding back and holding for all this time. Oh, no, no, no. This, no, no, no. this dude was cracked. This dude, no, no. That dude was cracked. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't know he was that powerful. I, I knew he was him. General Radan was an honorable champion Brother. that will never be forgotten. A living legend. Oh, my. Oh my god. Shout out to Dan Allen Gaming. Thanks everyone for watching that Elden Ring lore video. One of my first ever, so please, constructive feedback. What did you think? Let me know in the comments. Dan, you need to make more of these. That's what I think. You that was actually very, 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 like, very entertaining. That was like, it was very easy to understand. Like, I, I, well, here's the thing, right? Whenever it comes down to like some lore videos, some lore videos, and here's the thing, I understand, like, they're trying to cram so much information it's like a it's like like a short time because you know a lot of people don't have like you know nine hours to like learn something so um they're trying to like you know cram a lot of information into like you know into like a 30 minute video uh like even like an hour video like some lores are just like deep for like no reason but um this is actually pretty good bro hopefully you can actually like make like a uh make like a lore video for like the dlc bro that would be crazy if you can make one for like uh, one of the bosses in a dlc and I didn't even know, here's the thing, I, listen, I'm a noob, but I didn't even know that Radon and Melania, like, had, like, a battle before. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. Um, so, technically, I did lose my bet because I said, oh, yeah, Radon got it. You know, even though, like, you know, Melania is, like, it's her. I, I didn't think, you know, she would actually win that. Um, but, yeah, she actually got the final blow, and she, you know, she, she stabbed that man in the head. And then she just affected the guy, and then he lost his feet. Like, that's crazy. Um, but like the fact that he actually survived that and uh, I mean obviously like you know We have to take the guy down, but the fact that he actually survived that is absolutely crazy Like I bro, I knew this guy was cracked But the fact that he was holding back meteors and stuff like that and he learned how to um He learned how to become weightless so his horse wouldn't you know just give out <laughs> Because at first listen, I'll be honest with you from first glance I'm like brother that horse needs like water and food bro like that bro that horse looks like just beat Turns out, bro, like the horse don't even feel nothing. So, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this lore video? This is very, very, very interesting. Uh, shout out to Dan out of gaming. Let me see you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy my reaction. See you guys later. Come out and peace. Did you, whoa, whoa, so did you guys subscribe or what? Actually, as a matter of fact, if you guys are actually on mobile, and whenever I say subscribe, like the whole like subscription button lit up, that's so cool. Like, make sure you guys make sure you click it. You did you click it right? You clicked it. All right, see you guys later. Come out and.